How's it going? So it's that time again. Yep. Gotta check the beehives. I love doing that. <laughs> it's always fun going in there and seeing what I can find and in uh, seeing all the different things going on. So makes I like going in there every week. Um, today it's pretty windy, but the sun's out. So I'm also gonna check the swarm trap after this, and I'll bring you guys along with that at the end, and we'll see how that's all doing. So let's go check it out. If you're new to the channel, my name is Matt, my wife's name is Sarah, and we own a laser engraving business, and we do a bunch of gardening every year, been doing it for 10 years now. Yeah, yeah, we lived here since 10 years. Um, but uh, we just got bees, first time beekeeper, and we're loving it so far. So let's dig into this. Sugar syrup is all gone, not surprised. Okay, so the main goal is just to see if they have a bunch of eggs. And last time they didn't have many, but see how they're doing. They've been bringing in a lot of pollen. Okay, this one's filled with nectar. So this side here, you can see this is all honey right here. This is all eggs and this is nectar down here. But this is all eggs in there. It's hard to see with the lights, but all those eggs are standing up. So that's a really good sign. That means we have the queen. Let's we'll check a couple of the other cells. See how, make sure they're not swarm, getting ready to swarm by no means. And then I'm probably going to end up giving them another box to let them to let them grow. A bunch of larvae, some cat brood. One there doing the waggle dance. A bunch of drones. We've got some more brood on this side, cat brood. All right, so they have some swarm, swarm cells. See that on the bottom? Okay, so they have four swarm cells there on the bottom. So I need to take those off and then we're definitely given another box. All right, so being I found that one, I'm gonna check these other frames to make sure there's no more. Some more swarm cups. I'm giving them another box. So I'm gonna bring up one of the broods from the bottom and put it up top, just like I did on that other box. Look at that. They have propolis all the way out here. It's crazy how they can get that far underneath the lid. That went good. They're booming, which I was expecting for how fast the, they're taking the syrup, but boy, that was a lot more eggs than I had figured in there. So that's really good. And the brood, so in this last week, she did really good with, uh, they capped a bunch that I saw last week, and then they had a lot more eggs this week, a ton more eggs. So in every frame was full. The, the last frame was full, and then they were capping the one 
the closest to the camera when I saw that one looking down at an angle they had that one uh, capped around the edges so they're taking in the nectar so that's really good so let's break in the other two hives quick and these will just be a lot faster and just skim through but I really think what's helping is for one I'm, I'm keeping up with the sugar syrup and letting them build and then two is that better comb I think by having that better comb and by three buying a nuke I think all those things are in my favor where it's definitely helping I should have no problem you know having both these boxes full before winter so be cool let's go to the next one all right so we're on the second box and I'm guessing the sugar syrup's gonna be gone on these two and yes so all three of these are taking down the sugar syrup pretty fast, which is a really good thing. Okay, so they're starting to draw out the comb on here, and they got a little bit of nectar down in there. Nothing on that side. This, this one's heavy. So they got nectar, a little bit of comb right here. See it, sideways view. Look at that side. Nice white comb, all full of nectar. Awesome. Set that over here. Nothing on that one. A little bit on this side. Okay, I hope this picks up in the camera. You see the eggs in there? A bunch of eggs in this area. Nectar over here, capped honey up here. We got more eggs right in here. Wow, okay, so all of this is eggs, all the way down to the bottom. I hope that's coming through. And that side, they just started drying out. I'm gonna flip this one so they draw out that other side too. Okay, so this, I'm gonna be fast. This frame has the brood and then eggs on this side, and then some more eggs and larvae down on this side, and capped honey on the top. This is the one that, that I showed you last week where it had the eggs and it barely had any comb. Whoa, look at all that brood. That is just crazy. And they're just drawing this one out. It's got nectar on it and brand new comb on that side. Now this side has all eggs and then right in the center, You can see right in the center there, there's some young larva. I hope that's coming through. And then you can see side to side, there is some eggs. That is super cool. This one's all nectar. Oh, look at that. It's all capped. All right. Still drawing this comb out. And they just started drawing this one out. That's cool how they do that. And then look at that one. And this is half full of nectar. And this is one of my better combs. They got this nectar and then all of this nectar. All right, put this one back together. I'm not even gonna check the bottom on these. I saw the eggs, I don't worry about it. They, I know the queen's in there, so put it back together. And there's no comb on the bottom of this, or queen. So I'm not gonna worry about cleaning that off. All right, so let's go to the next hive. Um, I just want to check them out. I don't want to dig through them all because of the wind and stuff. And they, nectar flows on here. I mean, we got some white clover, a lot of it, abundance of it. So I'm thinking they're just getting a bunch of that. So, and they're calm. These, 
these bees have been just really calm today so I'm just gonna try to get in and out last week when I got stung the three times it was through my glove you know they can't it didn't penetrate or nothing so it didn't get me but I don't wanna I don't wanna get stung I know it'll happen I've been stung plenty of times in my life but just trying to be gentle with them and move quickly through the hives so let's check out this next one and see how they're doing this hive for some reason keeps pushing that thing up so as you can see this cup it sits in a groove see it's in the groove now they come up and there must be so many of them they push that up so it lifts up and sits up higher and that's how they come out of here little buggers this one i know is gonna have a lot of comb on it oh my they are everywhere up here this barely has any comb so i'm not gonna worry about that wow that's a lot of bees you see that nothing on this one which i'm surprised for how many bees that are up here just started on this one just started on this side and they built some comb on this side just nectar in it no nothing else no eggs or anything some cap brood some nectar and larva see that Let's see. so this side is all larva over here more larva over here and some eggs down here I'm just trying to clean these up before I put them back smoked them a little bit just so they'd go down so I don't want to pinch any of them and then they release that pheromone you kidding me look at that they got a swarm cell on this one stacked full with eggs and brood look at that I'm gonna make a split I think look at all the eggs in that one So I didn't want to go down to the bottom, but being I found that swarm cell, I got to check a couple in the bottom, and we'll see how they're doing. I don't want to, I don't want them to swarm on me. Not yet. Okay, this frame is empty, pretty much some pollen in there and that's it so we will check her that in the bottom for sure to give them more room to keep their mind off of swarming capped honey and some this one's all capped honey or not all but it's nectar and then a lot of capped honey on both sides so I'm gonna work through this one kind of fast because I don't want I don't want to have this open so I'm not gonna talk as much some of you might think, oh, that's gotta be hard, Matt. Not talk that much? Ha ha. <laughs> okay, so this one's all honey. It's all nectar, and it's starting to get capped on that side. Just solid brood. Now, if, if it was cold out, I would not be doing this. Still upper 70, it's like 79, 78 today. What do they got going on down here? It's just packed full of brood, of eggs and brood. She has plenty of spots to lay yet. It's all larva in this one. And some cat brood. Oh, this one's heavy. This is all nectar. So I'm gonna switch some of these check room down here. I have a feeling she's running low on spots. Oh my gosh.
Uh, that's not good at all. Shoot. I gotta get this put back together. Well, let's just recap. I don't know what was all recorded, but if that was on there, I'm not hiding nothing. You guys, I'm showing you my journey on all this stuff, the new stuff that we're getting and doing and so forth. Um, so like I said, I don't know what all caught on there, but I'm gonna explain. I was going through that third box and a big oaf klutz that I am, I went around the side to check the last two frames. I went to grab it. As I did that, my leg hit the top box that I had to my left and behind me on the ground. And it twisted it and being I'm on a hill, yeah, it tipped upside down. So I remind you guys, for those of you who don't know, you have a frame here and on the box, this sits down in the box like this. So when it's upside down, guess what? Falls right out. So I did search the ground. There was no queen. I did my best on picking the box back up, flipping it upright. Uh, There's a lot of bees in the ground. I think they were all nurse bees. Uh, a lot of them went to flight and flying around me. Um, I put the bottom box back together as fast as I could, and I checkered two of the empty ones on the outside edge. I put them towards the middle. I didn't put them next to each other, I went every other. To give it more room so they don't make any more swarm cups. Uh, the only swarm cups I found are up top. Uh, I put it back together, and they seem fine, but I'm gonna check it tomorrow now. Um, probably, th I'll, I'll wait three days. I'm gonna wait three days from today, and I'll go out there and check it to make sure we have eggs. Uh, if there's no eggs, then I know that the queen was in there and I killed it. Killed her. Uh, I hope not. Um, but I am super mad at myself right now. Um, I don't want to hide nothing either. You know, the, this is I'm going to record everything, all my mistakes, the victories, um, everything. So, dang it. I am super mad. I still have to go to my dad's and check the swarm traps. So I think what I'm going to do is go pack up my boys because they like to go with and my daughter's going to take a nap and give her a kiss. And I'm going to go over there and check the swarm trap and just give me a break to cool down and then I'll come back and check this out. And yes, I'm going to take you guys with. I just can't believe I did that. Rookie, rookie mistake. Um, I always try to be gentle with them and uh, it just didn't work out and... I just nicked them with my legs. So I'm gonna redo that. I'm definitely gonna change how I'm gonna lay things out up there because of that hill. Uh, yeah. So I might be going to lit the, the lumber store. I almost said liquor store. I should go there too. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Um, I gotta go to the lumber store and get some lumber and I'm gonna, I have a design in my head that I will do. And obviously I'll make a video on it, but I'm gonna make two different ones. And, but okay, so also with that hive um, that I knocked over, the third one that's doing really good, that was packed full of brood and, pa and whatever uh, stores the, so it'd be eight frames in the bottom, it'd be six were completely packed full of brood, eggs, and then a little bit of larva. And um, the outside, there's two other frames on the outside that they started building up. So that'd be eight frames packed full of brood. And then on top, there was four. So I think that one's going to be a strong hive. Definitely a strong hive. So, or it is a definitely a strong hive. So I think that one, um, I could even let it go and put a honey super on and see what they do this year. I don't know. I don't know how Minnesota flow works yet. Like if there's a lot of flow coming up. Or if there's a dearth in the middle of Minnesota, I was told that there is no dearth in Minnesota with the nectar. It's pretty much constant all summer, but I have no idea. This is my first time. So I will uh, make that decision too this week. I might split and just let them build another hive because I want more hives anyways. So we'll see. I'm sure the wife and the kids want me to do the honey super because they want honey. So, all right, I'm going to get changed and I'll 
take you with and we'll go over to my dad's and check that swarm trap. All right, so I got to my dad's. We'll check out the swarm trap, see if there's anything in it. I still can't believe that one tipped over on me. It doesn't look like there's a lot of action. I've been talking to my dad too, and he doesn't have, uh, hasn't seen, I should say, a lot of bees around it. So I don't think there really is much. Nope. So I'm just gonna bait bait it really quick and then talk to my dad let my kids play for a while and then um, other than that we were over there just talking and the kids are playing and then we also discovered an app because he was he said that he couldn't remember this type of flower that was over there and we just were looking at what it was flower beds and so I looked up an app and we were playing with that you take a picture of the the leaf and or the flower or whatever and it'll tell you what it is where it's from all the description on it so that was pretty cool so we're playing at that walking around the yard taking pictures of flowers i'm sure the one neighbor was like what in the heck are these guys doing <laughs> oh, the kids were having fun with it laughing at us too so but other than that yeah nothing else has changed other than that i was a big klutz i still can't believe i tipped that box over and i hope that everything's fine there who knows maybe i gotta order another queen for that colony Ugh, i hope not so anyways if you like this content why don't you hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and glad you guys see me again <laughs> bye